Hello my angels, welcome back to a brand new vlog. The rollers are in, my airport outfit is on, and I am packing. We have a couple of hours before I need to head to the airport, so I have everything you could possibly imagine all ready to go and I've got to pack, so I thought I would do it with you. Now, if you are a frequent viewer of my YouTube channel, you will know that I am heading to Mallorca for so many different things. This weekend is my brother's 30th birthday, so it will be a full family affair. I am also gonna be doing an updated house tour. The house is almost finished, and I cannot wait to share it with you. It's looking just incredible. My mother and Marcus have done the most exceptional job and I just can't wait to see it myself. So I will most certainly be sharing it with you. And then next week we have a full Luxury by Leonora photo shoot. So there is so much to pack, but I also do have the dilemma that I have a weight allowance and I don't have a carry-on. So it's a bit of a nightmare, but considering there is a solution to every problem. I've actually added a bag to Anna's booking on Monday. So I'm going to be packing two suitcases, one with the essentials that I need for this weekend and for all things 30th birthday party in Mallorca, and then a suitcase for next week, which will be full of all of the items that I'm going to be shooting on this mega photo shoot. I cannot wait. The content direction is bigger and better than ever. I can't wait to spend the weekend with my family, see my parents, finally see my husband, <laughs> but we need to pack first. So let's jump straight into this. So please excuse the utter chaos. So these are packages. Actually, this is a net -a -a delivery that I'm actually going to unbox with you. There are a few dresses for my mum in here that I bought her for Cameron's birthday celebration. These are Holland Cooper packages that we will be shooting next week. This is an incredible package from Alexandra Miro. Again, I will unbox all of these with you. Here are the light bulbs. So I need to take two boxes of light bulbs. And then I always like to have my underwear in a little bag. So it's all in one place, super easy and super simple. Again, I have all of my bikinis in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pop you back up on the tripod and then we will pack together. So I'm thinking this suitcase can go on Monday and then this suitcase I'm going to take with me now. So I need all the stuff that I need for the party. Obviously all my necessities, my essentials, my makeup, skincare, everything like that. Got all of my shoes lined up, my bags. Got pictures of Cammy, his little cute face. Okay, I'm gonna pop you back up on my tripod, which is here. Look at this little setup. It is also the most grimo day outside. I am so excited to be heading to the sunshine. It's like we have a hurricane. I think actually we are getting the end of a hurricane that's come across the Atlantic Ocean from the States. And I think we're getting the end tail of it. So, sorry guys, I'm heading to the sunshine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop you back up here and spin you round. Okay, so sitting on the floor. The first thing I like to do is pop my shoes in at the bottom. Just means all the heavy items are at the bottom. And another thing that I am a little bit of a stickler for, look, with shoes, they tend to be quite a lot of money. I especially invest in luxury items and they are high value. So I'm a little bit fussy and I do like to travel my shoes in little shoe bags. They literally have any shoe bag that I can find. So what I like to do is, so for example, I've got my Manolos. I literally pop them into, amazingly enough, got a Manolo bag. Literally pop them into a Manolo bag. I never put two shoes into one bag because, for example, this shoe here has the buckle on and then it would scratch the other one and, oh, no, couldn't do that. And again, if you have a white shoe, then the dirt on the white shoe could get the other shoe dirty and we don't want any of that. So I am going to quickly pop all of my shoes into shoe bags. And then I'm actually gonna think about this. Do I need 
every single one of these pairs of shoes for this weekend? Probably not. So I think actually I'm going to pop these ones over there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a process of elimination. If I put it to the right, it's going in that suitcase. If I put it in the left, it's going in that suitcase. So let's get going. Pop that one in this one. So basically what I have to do is I have to like lay out all of the outfits and then I have to think about what shoes are going to go with what outfit. And then I can't take my entire wardrobe. As I told you, I have a weight allowance and I can only take one bag. And I was so silly. I was so silly. I also didn't realize that once you check in, you can't add another bag. Oh, night mare. So anyway, there is always a solution to a problem. Anna is going to very kindly <laughs> bring out the rest on Monday and I'm going to add another bag on to her flight. White Manolos, they are a must. Definitely need these bad boys for this weekend. I can't wait to do this unboxing with you. I think I might actually do that after I pop my shoes in. Then we can have a good old look as to what we need. I think the brown Manolos, I don't think I'm gonna need these this weekend. With Mallorca, it's a much more of a laid back, it's super authentic, it's not glitz and glam, it's not Saint-Tropez where you need to go dolled up every night. And don't get me wrong, I love getting dolled up, but it's just not that kind of vibe. I think once in a while, whether you're going to maybe like the Cap Rocat or whether you're going to La Residencia and Dea, like definitely get dressed up. But if you're just heading into town for a delicious dinner, Literally, you can wear sandals or Birkenstocks, which I love. I love the fact that I always dress up, I always do my hair, always do my makeup, but I wear a little bit more of a relaxed outfit with flat shoes. My feet are so happy about it, but I am going to take a few pairs of heels for this weekend because it is a big party and I know other people are going to be wearing heels, so I think I should make that special effort. There's me saying I put everything in shoe bags and I have, I'm missing one shoe bag. <gasps> right, I'm gonna put the Jimmy Choo's in the same bag because they haven't got a buckle and then I can put that Manolo in a separate one. <gasps> Just completely contradicted myself, didn't I? Right, my phone is going crazy because I'm having stuff delivered directly to the house in Mallorca um, and basically, the deliveries <laughs> are not arriving and there's an issue. So please excuse me, that is percent. Right, let's pop these shoes in and then I'm going to unbox all of these items with you, decide whether they're going today or whether they're going on Monday. Boot-wise, I most certainly will not be wearing chocolate suede boots this weekend. I am shooting these next week for Holland Cooper. It is the most gorgeous autumnal outfit you have ever seen. I cannot wait to share it with you. I will actually, I'll show you those pieces because they are absolutely magnificent. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the content that we're going to create. It is going to be amazing. Right, what else do we need? Now let's quickly unbox these packages together. So this is from a brand called Alexandra Miro. They specialize in swimwear and resort wear and they have sent me the most beautiful things from their new collection. As you can see, I tried this on in a rush. Look at this swimsuit. Oh, if she can turn it the right way up. So it's like this animal print cutout swimsuit. It is going to look amazing on. So I'm gonna be shooting that next week. But am I going to wear that this weekend? They've also sent the chicest black swimsuit with like a sweetheart neckline. I am absolutely obsessed. It is the ultimate black swimsuit. And I definitely think a top quality black swimsuit is something that 
everybody needs in their wardrobe. You can wear this obviously on its own in a pool or you can pop on a kimono, you can pop on a sarong, you could literally wear a pair of shorts, trousers and it is so chic and trust me when I say it holds everything in. It literally just goes <laughs> love her, love her and then they've sent the beautiful cover-up look at that so it's this gorgeous black and white animal print you've got the bell sleeve you've got the waist tie which you can cinch it in and it's absolutely stunning and i think with the black swimsuit underneath and even the matching swimsuit you know i love a matching outfit so we're going to continue on the animal print and I think I showed you in Mark's birthday vlog I had an amazing two piece from them, it was like this cobalt blue and when they brought out this print I just thought it was so classic, it's very chic so they've got the top with these incredible sleeves you can pull it really tight or you can actually just have it quite loose so I've got the top and then the matching skirt and the design is even better than the one that I had. So it has a zip to the side. So that is the skirt. It's so gorgeous. And check out this belt. So it's this gorgeous horn-like buckle detail with the animal print. And so think the top, dramatic sleeves cinched in, puppies up here, high-waisted skirt on, and then finished off with this beautiful belt. Oh, cannot wait. I actually think I'm going to take that for this weekend because I could definitely wear that on Sunday. We're having a pool party on Sunday. So I think I will take, if I can, I will take a few of these pieces. I think I'm definitely going to take that as well because I could wear that for the party. I've got two options for the party. So the final piece that Alexandra Miro very kindly sent, which I am shooting next week, but I love the brand so much that I think I'm actually going to wear it first. Bit naughty. Um, to the party. So they've sent this stunning one-shouldered animal print silk dress. It's got these high slits at the side. I'm not showing it off very well, but I will pop this on once we get there and I'll do a little bit of a try on for you. Also comes with a waist belt to cinch it in. But what I'd actually like to do is tie this around my neck and then have it quite floaty. Oh, it's going to look divine. And I'm thinking then just black sandals or even bare feet because it's a pool party. So that is my Alexandra Miro package. I'm actually gonna take it's just whether I can get with the weight limit. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in there. That's gonna go that side. We're gonna pack that. Box can go over there to go to the bonfire. Holland Cooper. So this little goodie, you know, I never get over receiving a little green and gold box. Their branding is iconic and it just makes you feel like Christmas has come at once when you receive one of their packages. And this is one of their brand new belts. This is their Atelier Slim Logo belt. And it's in this stunning, I always do this. I should really take this off before I show you but you all know that I literally do things with you in real time. Ugh! Get this off. It's just to protect the gold hardware. So you've got the little HC buckle. It's very understated, which I love. And then you've got this beautiful, it's almost like a mixture. It's like a, a light chocolate. It's not super dark, which I love. Because sometimes with chocolate belts, you don't know whether it's black or whether it's brown. This, you know 100%. This is stunning. It's very couture. So I've actually got this in a small, and that is going to fit perfectly oh, i can't wait to style this outfit up so this is actually going to be worn on my hips so i'm going to wear the new chocolate jobber jeans which i hope are in these boxes so belts can actually come next week so that's going to go this side and then in here wait for it again green packaging this are these are a few new pieces from their brand new knitwear collection have you ever seen something more delicious 
in your life. It's almost like this oatmeal, pale, pale beige. This feels like silk. It is so soft to touch. I love the classic knit. You've got the gold buttons on the top. They're iconic buttons down the wrist. And this is one of their roll necks. And I think this is the color of the season. It's not cream, it's not camel. It's that beautiful, almost like a latte color. I need to actually check what they call this. <laughs> Leonora says it's a, Oh, perfect, I'm correct, it is oatmeal. And this is the Seattle Roll Neck Cable Knit Jumper. Stunning, you are going to see me live in this. So we are shooting, as I said, like autumn winter in Mallorca, on a mountain, at dusk, think goats. It's gonna be a vibe. So that can definitely come on Monday. I got the same jumper in chocolate because you can never have too many of these Seattle jumpers. And when you see the chocolate jumper jeans, this is a vibe. So think this, chocolate jumper jeans, the chocolate suede Holland Cooper boots, the beautiful new Atelier belt. I absolutely love it. And I've got a few gorgeous like chocolate silk scrunchies. It's going to look amazing. Very, very timeless, old school glamour. Love it. And then something that I have been waiting to get my hands on. I think this is going to be my most worn item in my wardrobe this autumn winter. It is a classic. It is a staple and you all need it. Chocolate roll neck. It's like a very, very thin, almost like a jersey uh, fabric. It will be quite fitted and tight to the skin. So I actually thought these were bodies. And sometimes with bodies, they can be a little bit uncomfortable and sometimes they actually show the panty line. So they have designed this as a top so you can just tuck it in. It is really lovely and fitted. If you do size up, then you can obviously have it a little bit oversized, which would look amazing. So imagine the Holland Cooper iconic mini skirt with the matching jacket, the chocolate roll neck base layer, chocolate suede boots. Now that is an outfit. <laughs> I can't wait. But you're gonna see all of this on. I will definitely do a try on uh, next week and I'll show you all of these items on so that you can see what it looks like. But I have to be honest, that is going to be in the next vlog. So you'll have to stay tuned. <laughs> so that is going over there. Then my last package from Holland Cooper. What do we have in here? Oh, it's so stunning. Even gifting. Think Christmas. Just opening this is just such a treat. Oh yes. So here we have the brand new jumper jeans. Now these are in chocolate brown. They're almost like a waxed fabric, as you can see. They've got the zips at the front. They do sit slightly high-waisted, which I love. They are so flattering. And let me tell you, when you have this on your bottom, you're not gonna know that it's yours. It's going to look so epic. As I said, these are the Jodhpur jean in chocolate. So they are going in that suitcase. And last but certainly not least, the stunning Clarissa Camel shirt. It is so beautiful. Look at the detail. You've got the ruffles down the front, the beautiful pointed collar, the covered buttons, but look at the sleeves. It really is an elevated, super, super timeless blouse. Again, this is something that you can style up and style down. I can't wait to wear this. I also think the color is just so flattering. Okay, well that can most certainly go on the right hand side. Okay, so moving on swiftly because I am conscious of time. My last package to unbox with you. Netta Porter. 
I can't wait. So I got the most beautiful dresses to wear this weekend for my brother's party. I actually got a dress for myself and then I got two dresses for my mum. So I'm hoping she's going to fall in love with at least one of them. And then if not, obviously the other one can be sent back. So in here we have so this really is my mother's colour. And in Mallorca, we've gone, as you know, with a bit of a colour. And we're trying to continue that colour through. And of course, she's going to be one of the guests of honour because her baby will have turned 30. And this, I hope, is what she is going to wear. So it's a one-shouldered silk. I think it's pronounced la double J double J in English. Anywho, so it's pale lemon, almost orangey, stunning creation. So it's very floaty, it's slightly oversized, which she will love. It's one-shouldered. Now my mother was graced with the most beautiful collarbones and the most beautiful arms, and she also has the most stunning skin, as well as being golden brown at the moment. So I think that that is going to look exceptional. I'm not really giving it the full view. But as you can see, it's got the pineapples on the front. It's one-shouldered, and I think that that is going to look magnificent on her. <laughs> that is most certainly going to be packed to go for this weekend. And then I may or may not have selected a dress for myself. Have you ever seen something come in such a beautiful, this is a full garment bag, but look at it, it's linen in the most stunning print. And this is a brand called Agua by Agua Bonita. And this is one of their beautiful dresses. I can't believe this garment bag, it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm looking out the window at this weather. It is literally like a hurricane out there. Oh my goodness. I hope my plane is going to be able to take off. Mm, golly. Right, let's show you what this looks like. I also wanted a dress that was going to look beautiful alongside my mother's and the decorations. And obviously it needs to be appropriate for the time of year out there, the weather, and then obviously the dress code. So when I saw this, I just fell head over heels in love. I also appreciate that we're going from like autumn, winter to summer, but we are heading to the sunshine. And look at this dress. Look at this dress. So it is off the shoulder, wasted into this beautiful skirt. You've got lots of fabric. It is almost like a corseted. It's actually not got any boning, but just the cut and the quality of the fabric, I can really see that it's going to just hold me in the bust area, which as you know, I need a little bit more support <laughs> up here. And then as you can see, this is elasticated off the shoulder. And can we just take a moment for the color? I am absolutely in love. It's almost this like pale turquoise color with these gorgeous, like almost orangey yellow flowers and the gorgeous greenery on here. I think amongst the gardens, this is going to look sensational. Again, these are investment pieces. This was also on sale. So such a golden ticket. If you are going away this winter, or if you are in fact a subscriber from a much nicer climate than what we have here in the UK, then this is a stunning piece that you will wear time and time again. Now that is most certainly going in this weekend's suitcase. So that is everything that I wanted to unbox with you. Now I've got to get it all in the bag, <laughs> get it all packed, and um, get to the airport. So let's continue packing. 
as I said, I always like to have my underwear in a little bag. I actually got given this, so I don't know where this is from, but I literally use it every single time I go away. You can also use um, shoe dust bags. They do the job perfectly, but I really liked how it had a little bra and panties on it. And then I keep all of my swim swimsuits and bikinis in a little linen dust bag as well. So they are going in the suitcase. Oh, goodness gracious me, almost stack it. And they're a little bit bulkier, so they can go at the bottom along with the shoes. And then what I like to do, I normally never travel with my handbags in my check luggage. And I am really taking a bit of a risk here. But I actually don't even have a carry-on. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a process of elimination. So everything that we do not need for this weekend is going to go straight into this suitcase here for Anna to bring out. So all the autumn winter stuff, a few of the pieces from Alexandra Miro, the Holland Cooper belt. And as I said, I do like to keep all of the heavy bits at the bottom. So the shoes go at the bottom and then I like to just build it up. There we go. What else do I not need until next week? I probably don't need these trousers. Definitely don't need these trousers. So they can go in next week. I love those. Those are my Zimmerman uh, heavy crep high-waisted trousers. I think I bought them five years ago and they're just a piece that I wear time and time again. Now these items, I kind of need all of this. Anything else that I could pack for next week? I think I'm going to pack a few of these Alexandra Nero pieces. almost just need heavy stuff to go in here. There we go. I'm also filming for Olivana. Now again, if you watched my last Mallorca vlog, I shot a mega SPF campaign with them. It's probably one of my favorite skincare campaigns I've ever filmed. We were on a boat. I'm trying to squeeze SPF on my face. Um, it was like splattering <laughs> across my face. I wish we got an Instagram verse reality because you would have giggled. The people that own the boat thought that we were shooting something else but anyway needless to say it turned out magnificent I'm so happy and also the SPF drops are the bomb so I've actually got a restock of a few of the products that I will be shooting next week again I will talk you through all of these and I'm also going to show you my updated skincare routine so these can go in here ready for next week those need to go in my wash bag because these are my favorite facial tools to sculpt the face. Now, as I was saying, handbags, I would never do this. I do not recommend it to anyone else, but I don't have a carry-on. So I'm just going to hope and pray that they don't lose my luggage. I'm going with my Chanel Raffia bag, my little white Jimmy Choo because she's a classic and goes with everything. And then a little black Louis Vuitton number. The black Louis Vuitton could go on Monday, but it's actually quite light. So I think it will be absolutely fine. Um, there we go, they are going to go in the shoe section, there we go, and a little trick that I like to do is if you don't have an underwear bag, you can either stuff your handbags or stuff any bags that you're taking with your undies and it will keep your bags padded and sort of safe from any crimpling or crushing. And I've actually popped all of my belts in here. So as you can see, I put my belt and actually my mother's prescription. So that is perfect. And that is going in. Voila, so that side is pretty much packed. I also picked up this stunning dress. Now, I actually think this is the dress that's going to look exceptional on my mother. It is, again, another double J dress, off the shoulder, slightly frilly at the top. We are continuing on this yellow theme. It's the same print, but it is a cotton dress. It's not floor length, it's sort of ankle length. You've got the pockets. I actually would love to wear this dress myself. 
It is absolutely stunning and I think my mother is going to look incredible in it. You all love my mum so much, which I adore. I always meet people and if ever you see me in public, please come and say hello. I love it and it makes my day to meet you. But every time I do meet one of you, everybody's like, oh, we really love you, but your mother. And they're like, please, can she start a YouTube channel? Guys, look at the name of the channel. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> I am joking. Um, but no, my mother is fabulous. And do you know what? She loves you guys too. She loves reading through the comments and um, it just makes her so happy that you guys are enjoying the content. Just realised, you can't actually see me. So, we're going to start packing my suitcase for this weekend. So I've just popped my dresses that I know I'm gonna wear for this weekend, and I'm going to fold them nicely into my suitcase. All my white linen, oh, white linen is a must. It's so timeless, it's classic, and you can style it up and down. So these are my, actually all of them, if you're looking for white linen dresses, or any linen dresses for that matter, a Miyako is my favourite brand for that. So I'm literally taking three white linen Amiyako dresses. I think I will need, I don't think I'll need all of them. Well, I might as well take all of them because I'm more likely going to wear them. That is quite heavy though. Look at this for a white linen dress. It is absolutely stunning. So look at the lace inserts on it. Incredible balloon sleeves. You've got the waist high. You can either have it actually unbuttoned the whole way, which is a little bit sexy, or you can have it done up and be slightly more demure, which we will go for, otherwise I will most certainly have a nip slip. And then actually it has the lace panels going down so you can see like little, little slithers of a leg. So it is stunning. I absolutely love it. I actually haven't worn it yet. It's new, so I can't wait to sport that. There we go, pop that in. And I literally just fold things as the way they hang so that they don't crease too much. But I do have a steamer out there and I'm most certainly going to have to use it. So they are going in there. Oh, the light bulbs. Right, let's get these light bulbs in. Just a pack of six. How many are in here? Six. Fine. We're taking six. We'll put the other six, probably shouldn't throw light bulbs, in there. Then I've got a few little pieces here that, you know those dresses that you just throw on in the morning for breakfast? They are going in. I love this. This is like a real golden number. I actually thought this would look really gorgeous for the pool party as well. Where, how does it, where does it go? Okay, I'm now literally throwing things in the suitcase. Okay, there you can go in. I've got some trousers. I love these shorts. High-waisted linen beige shorts. They go with absolutely everything. And you can also wear a wedge with them and they look so elevated. My lily silk cream trousers because I dress them up and down for every single occasion. And then these new lily silk chocolate wide leg silk trousers. That with my Gims bodysuit is like my new favourite outfit. So I would definitely be wearing that. Okay, we're doing well here. We're doing well. What else do I need? I've got some pashminas and some scarves. I actually think my mother will have some, so I'll take those for next week. These and these, I probably need to take these. So these are some tops. Let's go with those trousers. Just tuck those in there. Anything that doesn't crease, just stuff it in. Everything that does crease, fold it beautifully and hope for the very best. <laughs> okay, denim shorts. Love a denim short, little floofy shorts, little floaty trousers. Gosh, I'm getting full here and I've still got to pack a few bits and pieces for my dad. I mean, my dad is quite possibly the smartest tart you've ever met in your life. And he called me and he was like, Leonora, I don't have a sports jacket. I need a sports jacket for Cameron's birthday party. I said, how on earth have you been surviving down there without a jacket? Um, I mean like a blazer, like a summery sports blazer. 
He's obviously embracing the very like a bohemian culture down there where you don't get too dressed up. But I really was impressed considering my father lives in a three-piece pinstriped Savile Row cut <laughs> suit. Anyway, um, Dyson. Oh my goodness gracious me. Couldn't live without the Dyson. Again, I literally pop it into a shoe bag and I actually only just bring the heads that I need. So I've got the roller sections, I've got my brush, and then actually loads of different coloured silk scrunchies. Just means they're all in one place. And he is most certainly going in here. Oh guys, this is feeling, this is looking quite full. Oh no, and I've forgotten these dresses. So I've got to take the Netta Porto dresses and the Alexander Miro dresses. Okay, so I've got to take those and we've got to take these. Okay, that's that. Um, probably don't need the suit carrier case because that's heavy. Do I need this? I don't need this. This is heavy as well. Such beautiful quality. Highly, highly recommend this brand. Um, okay, birthday cards and all the candles. They're sparkly, so I'm going to actually keep them in the bag just to ensure that sparkles are not going over absolutely everything in my suitcase. The Alexandra Miro stuff is so light that I don't think it's going to make a difference. I really hope not. Um, let's just fold these on the top. At this rate, I'm probably going to have to wear my father's blazer as it's so heavy. Okay, I think that that is actually probably the most I'm going to fit. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Oh no. Okay, I might have to take something out this side. Oh gosh. Okay, I tell you what's actually quite heavy is my underwear. I could put my underwear in my handbag. <laughs> I am taking a really rather large handbag. Or is it my swimsuits that are heavy? The swimsuits are even heavier. Okay, I'm gonna pack the swimsuits in my hand luggage. Or do I put that in my hand luggage? Then at least I don't lose one Chanel. Yeah, I'll put that in my hand luggage. Put that back in there. Sparkly cards can go there. Gosh, you guys are really getting a chatty vlog <laughs> of Leonora frantically packing her suitcase when she has to leave in literally now an hour. Oh, golly. That amazing belt. Okay, that's going in. This amazing belt. And then, do you know what? I have a few bits and pieces down there already. Marcus very kindly took a few dresses that I need to shoot next week that had already arrived and they were actually quite heavy amazing dresses but I just didn't want to have the weight this is relatively light I'm just going to put him this side I wouldn't normally do this but considering I am now just packing for the sake of it this is not a pretty pack normally I'm so OCD <laughs> at this rate I'm like just get it in the bag that is going to have to be beautifully steamed once we get there. So, okay, right. I now need to pack these little bits and pieces down here for my mother. She needed me to go and buy her some strapless bras. Best daughter award goes to me. The lady in the department store was like, I don't think that that's your size. I was like, no, it's okay. It's for my mother. Okay, little pickies of Cameron are gonna go. I mean, have you ever? Look at his cute little face. My mother needs to be put in prison for the bowl haircut. I mean, poor bloke. Look at how cute we were. So there we go. That is my natural hair color. My brother with his bowl haircut and my mum. So there you have it. My mother and I look very, very similar. Me with a pineapple and poor Cammy with a bowl haircut and Shamu on his t-shirt. Okay, well they are going in. Oh, we need those around the table. The handbag I'm gonna pack in my big handbag. Now the glass balls. These are some beautiful little ball knobs to go onto a wardrobe. Look at those, aren't they stunning? Absolutely stunning, brass hardware, beautiful. Do we need them this weekend? No. So, they're going in over here. 
I don't think I can actually probably pack them in this box. Do you think this box would be okay? Poor Anna's gonna be like, Leo, I thought it was just like a few items. Sorry, sorry darling. Okay. I wanted to let her know to like stuff them just in case um, they break. Again, all of this, I need to keep those. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'll probably pack that. All the return slips, just in cases that those dresses don't fit. I'm normally quite good at like size guides and understanding size guides because let's face it, every brand is different. Sometimes I'm an extra small and sometimes I'm a medium or even large in some brands. Handkerchiefs, Marcus needs handkerchiefs. So we're gonna put those in here and now, okay, I need to pop in my wash bags. Keep just popping on my perfume. I bought this actually on my last trip when we went to Portugal. This is Jo Malone's Peony and Blush Suede. It's so fresh and it's so pretty. So I had a quick spritz of that before it goes into my suitcase. Oh golly, my wash bag is a little bit full. I'm also gonna let you in when we get to Mallorca on my favorite items and my essentials that I cannot live without in terms of skincare that is. So we'll do a full skincare routine once we get there okay that is going in that is quite heavy but whose wash bag isn't heavy because let's face it we all need products i also don't want that to go anywhere near just in case there we go that can go that side that can go that side what's in here why is that so bulky oh that's the light bulbs yeah definitely can't push on that um, I really hope you can travel with light bulbs. I think you can. I haven't seen anywhere that it said that I can't. So pray for me. If I'm in prison, it's because I smuggled light bulbs. <laughs> um, boot tape. This is my secret hero product. Anybody ever asks me, what are you wearing underneath your dresses? Because we don't see a bra and we don't see straps. Boob tape. These bad boys are consistently strapped together. Well, not all the time, but if you're wearing a strapless dress or a dress that's low at the back, boob tape is going to be your best friend. Okay, makeup, that can now go in. Now that is most of my necessities in. I don't think I can take out anything else. Oh golly. Pray for me, guys. I've got a few more bits and pieces that I need to pop in with my father. Fingers crossed they fit. At this rate, I'm gonna be wearing his sports jacket to the airport. <laughs> but anyway, I will be taking you with me for the whole trip. We are flying from Luton today. I'm meeting Claudia at the airport, and we're gonna have just the most gorgeous, girly flight. We need to have a big catch up. She's just done London Fashion Week, so I can't wait to hear all of her news. And anyway, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm all packed and ready to go and this has just made my day. There is nothing quite like having a Cartier delivery. A <laughs> bike has just dropped this off. <gasps> a little handwritten note. Oh, don't do this to me. It is quite possibly my favorite champagne on earth. And have you ever seen a more beautiful bottle? Oh my goodness me. I am absolutely blown away. Nina, I cannot thank you enough. This is so generous of you. I can't wait to get home now <laughs> so that I can enjoy a cold glass, well, a cold bottle of Cartier champagne in the car and on the way to the airport. I don't think I've ever been so excited <laughs> to get out of the UK. What is this weather? It is absolutely atrocious. I do hope I could take off in this, but what a grimo, grimo day. A little bit late and actually in a different country, but 
I have my darling girl here. We have touched down in Mallorca. Had a little bit of a slight worry at Luton Airport. We had to queue <laughs> for like an hour and a half to drop our bags. And then we literally made the flight with the skin of our teeth. But anyway, we've made it to Mallorca. It's about 20 past 10, so it's quite late. My knight in shining armor is waiting for us outside and we're gonna be heading to the villa. <laughs> we've got 10 days. Wait it's gonna be amazing! Villa looks after the renovation, like. It's gonna be mega. Anyway, our bags are literally just arriving. So let's get to the villa. Got the luggage. Look at this supermodel over here. I mean, who gets on a flight and looks like this? Oh, about to walk into a bin. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I live at this airport at this rate. It's quite late, but I'm very much looking forward to getting home. The question is, is he here? Is he waiting for us? Is it gonna open? 